To navigate through the game world, click your mouse on the spot where you want your avatar to walk to. To find people to speak to, look for the speech bubble superimposed over the characters you come across. When you've clicked on another character, that character will begin a conversation with you. Why the sad faces, Mädchen? Oh, Franz, they just cut our pay. It's horrible. Converse with them by clicking anywhere inside the black conversation bar at the bottom of the screen. Do you remember when I asked you to find out about whether the mill was having financial problems? What do you see? Sometimes you'll be asked to make a choice. Yes, I think the meal is in big trouble. Oh yes, the Boylston's big banquet. My mouth is Sometimes the character will assign a goal for you to accomplish. Please ask that near do well companion of yours if we can sit with him. You can check the status of your goals by looking at the upper left hand corner and seeing what you have to do. If you need more details, you can go to your brain, click on the Goals tab in the right-hand corner, and see what else you need to do. When you see the magnifying glass icon, it means there's a picture hidden behind a storefront or an object in the street. Click on it, and you'll get to see what's there. When you're done with a scene, you need to find the exit. This is a floating hand icon. Look for it, and it'll point your way to the next scene. On the right side of the screen, you'll find your resource icons, your brain, which keeps track of your goals, the evidence you've gathered, the people you've met, and words that might be unfamiliar to you. Your satchel, which tells you how much money you have, a map icon, and a gear icon, which brings up tutorials that help you navigate through the game world. What about our shoulders? We hardly make enough to eat. What about us? You're just a worker. You wouldn't understand. At certain points in the game, a character will ask you a big question about life in Eureka Falls. But don't just take my word for it. Ask around and find out if the mill is in financial trouble. You can remember the questions by looking in the upper right hand corner. And you'll go through the game collecting evidence to answer those questions. Let's read the funny papers. It's only one more penny, Anna. One more cent! This is my lucky day! Three more cents. You never know when you're going to come across a piece of evidence during the game. The future arrives at Boylston Mills. Fine new weaving machines installed. But when you do, a screen will pop up asking you which big question the piece of evidence relates to and whether it supports a yes or no answer to that question you'll then need to sort it into the proper place. You can reassign the evidence you've collected at any time. Just click on the blue big question bar in the corner and follow the prompts to reassign your answer. If you play Anna, you'll have to go to the mill every day and work in the weaving room keeping the machines running. The game will provide instructions on how to do that. Ay ay ay. If you play Walter, you have to come into the office every day and keep the whole mill running efficiently. Again, the game will tell you what you need to do. Remember, if you ever get confused, 
all you have to do is click on the gear icon on the right hand side of the screen to bring up tutorials that will explain how to navigate past present. Enjoy the game.